Well, good morning. Yeah, I slept in for an extra hour. You might have slept in a little bit later. I'm gonna make some coffee, you should too, or make some tea, add some coconut oil into it as well, a tablespoon or two, and let's start our day. We're gonna do a morning routine of 20 minutes of meditation with 10 minutes, uh, 10 breaths, and some deep breathing. And also, what I like to do, like I said, is I like to pray and write and read. So pick a book and read for about 10, 15 minutes and then write for... We're going to do a little bit longer extended writing because we're doing active fasting. So you're going to do three pages of nonstop thought writing. So it's just the brain dump. Just write whatever comes to your head. It could be literally like, oh, this sucks. Like, what am I doing this for? I'm really hungry. This coconut oil sucks, whatever. Or I don't know what to write. I don't, I'm, there's nothing going through my head. Just write it down. Something will come and I'll see you after the three pages. Hey, it's really good if you get out of the house while you still do the fasting. So I'm just gonna go on a little walk. We are going to do one thing we wanted to learn and something new that we haven't done before. So mine is going to be learning more about Pinterest. So I'll be researching and doing some Pinterest work. So as I was sitting here popping my pimple and filling up my water jug, I realized that a very you don't have to, but something that'll be a little bit easier for your body to respond to the water and for digestion, and just letting it heal, is to make sure you're drinking plenty of water, make sure it's room temperature or warm water. I like to get it through just tea or I'll just fill this up with a little bit of warm, hot water with cold to make it a little bit more room temperature-ish with lemon. And what that'll do is it just doesn't doesn't help to have cold water going throughout your body all the time because your body has to work harder to make it more room temperature. Your body likes to stay at a certain temperature. It's, uh, what is it, 98.7? I forget the exact number. It likes to stay at an exact temperature, and when you put cold water in it, your body has to work harder to warm up the water and to let it in and to make your body temperature a certain temperature at all times. So you don't want your body to work too hard during this phase of fasting or anything that's why i say no exercise just do a little bit of yoga meditation and we're gonna do a little bit of yoga later so that's another tip i wanted to share so it's that time of day if you haven't yet call up a friend meet up with them for coffee spend an hour or two chatting just try not to talk about how bad you feel with complaints or anything like that just try to be present with that person really come just bond Talk about good stuff, about the future, what you're doing. You can talk about the fasting and how, what you're getting from it and everything. Just try to be in a more positive mindset because, I don't know, to make someone's day. All right, so go get coffee with someone. Hey, I just wanted to give you a tip about what kind of friends you should hang out with at this time when you're fasting. And this can go with anybody, but this is my advice for someone like me, which is, Right now, I'm in a little bit of a mellow state. I'm feeling really good. I'm vibing. I'm feeling really good. <laughs> yeah, sir, sir, dude. Uh, I don't, I don't want to hang out with somebody who's. I got this idea. It's a little bit going against my my groove right now. I really want to be a little bit more self-reflective, a little bit more feeling grounded, and I don't want all these ideas. I want to follow <clears throat> this little layout that I have and just cool chill right and that's the thing that i'm getting from this so i had to put a friend a little bit on hold until monday until after the fast is done and i feel good about it i feel good about that choice because i'm really sticking with this i don't want to do too much but i want to go on a good pace right now that I, i'm comfortable with so all these activities that you're doing you might not get to all of it it's okay fit in a nap if you want to sleep for a little bit longer if you want and there's no judgment here or for yourself there really shouldn't be because this fasting period is about self-reflection and progress progress a little bit further in your personal self-development so keep that in mind all right guys so now it's time for you to have some green tea i chose a pomegranate green tea because i want some flavor in there with some coconut oil and then you're gonna watch a movie, a documentary on Netflix or something to feed your mind. And when I mean feed your mind, something to 
inspire you, not some trashy stuff that you want to watch. This is a good time to stay still and reflect. All right, so finished up yoga. I'm feeling pretty relaxed, right? So I want to fuel my mind even more. I'm going to start reading a book by David, Henry David Thoreau, and I'm going to read his one passage, Walden. I'm going to do this for about an hour. Guys, don't force this. Take a break if you need to. Go back to it. I'm just going to enjoy this for the next hour, and I'll see you soon. Keep drinking tea and coconut oil. Finished up with day two, which is kind of a little bit more than a day because it's around 8 o'clock, 8.30, and I break my fast at 6 p.m. tomorrow. <clears throat> so I have a little bit less than 24 hours. This, today was pretty good. It was really good, actually, up until like the last two hours where I was reading this book called Walden. I kind of just couldn't really focus. My mental focus is a little off when I was reading that, and I just it was off for a little bit. So that's the first time I took a nap, though. I'm surprisingly happy with the way I feel, the way I'm being productive, actually, even. I didn't think I'd actually have any productivity, which was kind of shocking to me. And I was smelling food, and the smell of food actually was a little bit more sensitive. I was a little bit like, ugh, can you stop cooking? And it was actually really good. And somebody was talking to me, and they're like, your voice sounds a little bit slower. Are you all right? I'm like, <clears throat> I feel the same. I think my voice sounds the same. It might be different. I haven't really listened to myself at all. And after I did yoga, I was really relaxed and I felt really present during yoga for the first time in a long time. And I was just doing it on YouTube and, and on, the, on the rug. And I don't feel so bad. I feel like I definitely look leaner. And, but I learned that too, that you don't have, like I'm learning how much energy we actually have on our body stored. <clears throat> like I already knew we had, a storage of 400 to 700 grams of glycogen onto our body and we had enough fat stores the average person has enough fat stores to run or swim across the country without ever putting food in their body so it's it's kind of amazing to me i knew that but i didn't really know that to the extent of what it is for like fasting for a few days so far that yeah i know you don't really need to eat even for productivity, we don't actually technically need to eat. I think it's just a mental thing that we're so programmed into believing we need to eat. So that was, that's a very interesting thought to have. That, you know, people say, oh, I can't even go four hours. We're so pampered. Shut the fuck up. You can go four hours without, without eating first thing in the morning. It's just that you whine too much about it and you think about it. So where you put your focus is where what what will happen for you, right? So like you thinking you won't and then you actually almost make yourself hungry because you think that. So if you go in that with the mindset and knowing that that hunger is not an emergency, that you can just go in there and you might actually gain more energy. How about that? <clears throat> you know, it's kind of like a placebo effect. If you believe that pill that you're taking is going to make you make you tired, and yet you can get fed and fed and fed amphetamines, and it's been proven that you will all those signs will be there. Your heart rate, your will slow down, your mood will start to relax, even though you're given amphetamines, which is supposed to rev you up and make you hyper. If you go into the fasting, like you're going to like lose energy and you're going to be moody and you're going to be cranky and not productive, you will be that. You will be what you put your focus on. So don't do that to yourself while you're doing the fasting. That's something that I learned really easily that I don't need to be productive while eating or I don't need to eat on a certain time or anything like that. Also, too, it looks like I don't need to eat a certain amount of protein every day to maintain my muscle mass. I mean, my muscle mass has been the same. I just look leaner, actually. So I'm less paranoid about getting 140 grams of protein in per day. Maybe I'll even cut it back to 120 and just see what happens from that. Anyway, that's what I learned so far. Going home soon, and I am going to relax for the rest of the night. I'm going to go to bed early, around 10 o'clock tonight. So. Let's see how sleep is, and I'll see you in the morning, or I'll see you in the uh, next one. All right, so I'm back in my place. I have some decaf coffee. It's a little late at night. I'm going to be reading my book, Walden, a little bit more. <clears throat> and we're going to end the night with a hot shower and t or bath and 20 minutes of meditation again before you go to sleep. And like I said, I like to, after I'm done meditating, I like to just say another prayer, thanking a higher power as that be for another beautiful day.
So that's what I recommend and good night.